Hey, welcome to another video. It's been a while, but I've decided to come back out with my infrared camera. It's a converted Nikon Z50, so it's a crop sensor. And I wanted to try out the Nikon 35 millimeter S lens, the 1.8. And I don't know how well it's gonna work for people that know a little bit more probably about infrared than I do. Well, what you do know is that some lenses have what's called hot spots in the middle where it gets a little white, blows things out. But the uh, one lens that I found works best is the 50 millimeter 1.8 S lens if you're on a Nikon system. That to me is the best lens that I've found so far if you want to shoot infrared and use the Nikon S system. The reason why I originally bought this camera, by the way, it's a 7200, it's a converted 7200. I wanted to try and do some uh, black and white and see if I could get a little bit of a difference in the black and white than I could with a regular camera. I just uh, decided to come out and let's try and use this 35 millimeter and see if we get any hot spots. Here's the first composition, this tree. I've shot it before with the 50 millimeter. So that's why I want to do it again. Get a little bit of comparison. 35 millimeter obviously is going to have a obviously different focal length. But uh, let's see what we can come up with, with this tree. I kind of like this as a subject. And it's a nice, well, a little bit of clouds in the sky, but it's a good day for infrared. We've had a lot of rain here lately, so it's uh, I thought I'd take advantage of it with the sunny day. I realize it's not part of the infrared video, but uh, there's one of the spoonbills that if you watch my bird stuff, you'll see him in there a lot. He's usually in this area and that's what he does. He wanders off when I get too close to him. My heron buddy, Henry, who again, if you watch some of my uh, bird videos, you'll see him in quite a few of them. A lot of times with infrared, the greens come out nice. So I thought I would try this tree. There's another one that I've tried before. We're going to try it again. But trees usually make a decent subject for infrared, especially with green and Lord knows down here in South Florida. We get plenty of green trees all year. Benches tend to be a decent subject. You get a good uh, foreground, mid-ground, and background when you do something like this for your composition. And the other thing I like is with infrared, you can really darken that water. That water will get black in the image if you do black and whites. It's a nice composition that I've tried a few times. I like this nice wide tree. Never really worked with the 50 millimeter. I still don't know if I'm seeing a hot spot yet. I guess I won't know until I get them on the computer. Because it's so bright, it's kind of hard to see in the viewfinder. But I don't, I don't, if there is a hot spot, it's pretty mild. I'm sure people can leave in the comments as to why some lenses other than the focal length lend themselves to hot spots. I would imagine it, a lot of it has to do with the coatings on the lens. But I'm not an expert in that. But uh, this here I think is a nice composition. Got some nice clouds. Oh, I was hoping that turkey buzzer would go and sit in the tree. So let's work on this for a little bit and see what we can get. Yesterday I came out here with my Z8 and a long lens, no herons, one spoonbill. I mean, really, no birds to photograph. Today I'm out here with an infrared camera and 35 millimeter lens, herons everywhere, ospreys diving for fish, spoonbills everywhere. <sighs> Nature photography, huh? Gotta love it. You never know from day to day what you're gonna find. And you say, well, why don't you shoot it with 
your current setup. I could you get more of an environmental photo of the bird, but I've shot herons before. I've, I've tried that. And even spoonbills with infrared with uh, short lenses and long lenses. It just doesn't look right. You know, the same way for anyone who hasn't dabbled in infrared, portraits don't really look right in infrared either. The skin tones just, they, they don't uh, they don't match up, even converting to black and white. They don't look right compared to a regular camera. And I find the same thing, infrared with birds. For whatever reason, they just don't look right. So it's kind of a waste if I was to do that. I may fire one off just in case, but the other reason why is I don't really want to mess with a bird. I don't want to go near it if I'm not going to photograph it. There's a couple of them, believe it or not, that you can recognize. You see them from a lot of times, like Henry, my heron. And he's pretty used to seeing me. He won't fly off. There's another one that's coming up on a spot where he sits in the weeds if he's still there if I get within 10 feet of him he's gonna fly away so I don't really like doing that to these birds same with the spoonbills there's one that uh, like the one I showed you earlier earlier he'll kind of dance off but he generally won't fly away there's a couple others that'll fly away as soon as they see me and there's one that pff, I could practically touch him and how you can tell him apart is he's got a little black on the tip of his wings and if you go back and look in some of my bird photos you'll see him with the black wings he stands out a little different than the other ones he's one that uh, doesn't get spooked by me I think the 35 overall is going to be pretty good assuming that there's no hot spots that I'm not seeing at this present time through the viewfinder if you like the 30 five format uh, focal length but I think for landscapes it should be pretty good again assuming that uh, I don't see the hot spots once I get on the computer I'll let you know but I'm pretty happy with it so far now that I've had a chance to put the files up on my computer this is the Nikon 35 millimeter 18 S lens good for infrared photography drum roll please what oh I got reminded I'm not monetized I can't afford a drum roll yet anyway is the 35 millimeter 1.8 Nikon lens usable for infrared on the Nikon system yes very much so it's right up there with the 50 millimeter, no hot spots. Love that lens. I'll use it for landscapes and infrared. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take good care.